We'll now revisit the hydrogen atom spectrum in terms of which transitions are allowed and which are forbidden for transitions between different energy levels as a photon is absorbed. So very near the beginning of this playlist, we looked at the Rydberg equation, or Rydberg formula, which given two quantum numbers, n1 and n2, the principal quantum number of the hydrogen atom, predicts the frequency at which a photon will be absorbed um, given that transition. And this equation is written such that n2 is greater than n1, and the Rydberg constant has this uh, value in the unit of wave numbers or inverse centimeters. And you can convert that to other units like hertz if you wish. So what are the selection rules for these various transitions here in terms of what's going to be the change of each of the quantum numbers as we go from one energy level to another? Well, we're going to see that the change in the orbital angular momentum quantum number L, that's going to be equal to plus or minus 1. So that would be like going from an S to a P, P to a D, P to an S, F to D, but not S to S, not P to P, uh, not S to F, etc. And the change in the quantum number S is going to be 0. So the electron is going to keep uh, the same spin as we change our energy levels here. And then the change in the total angular momentum J, which is the vector sum of the orbital angular momentum and spin angular momentum, that's going to be equal to either 0 or plus or minus 1. So more uh, options there than there are usually for these different quantum numbers as we undergo a transition. Okay, so the transitions are just going from one quantum number to another. We looked at the Lyman series, which we saw was in the ultraviolet, which had transitions which ended up at n equals 1 for the final quantum number. And going down there, now it's in the UV region. We looked at the Balmer series, which go from n equals something to n equals 2, some larger number. Those are in the visible region. And then in the infrared region, we had the passion series, which were even smaller yet. So things that looked like that. So what uh, of, of the quantum numbers that we've got here, which ones are, are allowed? Because as we get to these higher and higher quantum numbers, there are multiple values of L which are possible, and we want to see which ones give rise to the frequencies and transitions that we are looking at. So at n equals 1, our only term symbol is a doublet s 1 half. So our only L, L is 0, so it's just an S. Uh, the spin is going to be 1 half. There's going to be one unpaired electron, so the multiplicity is going to be 2. And the only value of J is going to be 1 half. Uh, this is from the previous video on spin orbit coupling. Then for N equals 2, we're going to have more possibilities. We're going to have the same doublet S 1 half. And then we're also going to have two possibilities for P. Doublet P 1 half doublet p three halves for j equals one half and j equals three halves. For n equals three, we'll start to see the pattern that's going to emerge here. We have the same doublet s one half, doublet p one half, doublet p three halves, and then there are d orbitals as well at n equals three. Those will give us doublet p, doublet d, uh, five halves here, doublet d five halves, and doublet d3 halves. Okay, so which of these transitions are going to end up being allowed? So can we have doublet s one half to doublet s one half? Well, that would be delta l equals zero, so that is not allowed. Can we have something like doublet p three halves going to doublet s one half from n equals two to one here. That would be okay. We have delta L equals minus one, delta s equals zero, these two stays the same, and delta j equals minus one, that's all good. Can we have the delta p one half to 
sorry, doublet p one half to doublet s one half. That's again delta l equals minus one, good. Delta s equals zero, good. Delta j equals zero, that's good. So that transition can occur. That's reasonable. Uh, what about when we're getting to these higher uh, levels here? Can we have something like a doublet d five halves going to doublet s one half? Uh, that would not be allowed because we've got a j changing by minus two. And it's also not allowed, as we'll see for doublet d3 halves going to doublet s1 half. It's not allowed for this state as well, because that would be a delta, uh, delta l equals minus 2. So that's also not allowed. Um, but then if we're going, and that's, those are all the transitions which are, which are possible to uh, the ground state here, this doublet s one half in the n equals one state. So our Lyman series, which we have all those transitions in the Lyman series, are going to be from some NP state, whether it's 2P, 3P, 4P, etc., which is a doublet P one half or a doublet 3P halves, going to the 1S state, which is a doublet S one half or NP doublet P three halves going to the 1s doublet s one half. Those are the only allowed transitions uh, in, in the Lyman series going to the ground state is from a P type term symbol there. And going from, going from higher uh, series here, going down to n equals 2, we could go into a doublet s one half. We could also go into a doublet p one half or a doublet p three halves. And there would be some other transitions which would be allowed going into a doublet P like that. We could have doublet D three halves going to a doublet P one half, that would be fine. Doublet D three halves going to doublet P three halves, that would be fine. Again, just checking that all of these values for delta L, S, and J are, are possible values. Um, doublet D five halves going to doublet P three halves. That is as well good. But the one which isn't possible for going from D to P is doublet D five halves to doublet P one half. That's not good because that would be a delta J of minus two. So I think this is enough examples to kind of give you an idea of how this works in practice. Um, we saw the interesting result that any transition to the ground state for a hydrogen atom has to come from a P type term symbol. And we see uh, what kind of term symbols can give rise to the transitions which we observe in other series like the Balmer series or the Passion series.